Let's take a look at how to write linear functions. This table shows you the relation between t bag c and cups of water t. How would you write this as an equation? Okay, well let's look at the pattern that we see in the table. If I look at my c column, I notice that each number is going up by one. Right from two to three is an increase of one. Uh, it looks like they maybe would have skipped the value of 4, right? 3 to 4, 4 to 5, and 5 to 6. If I look in the T column, it looks like they're increasing from, they're increasing by 2, right? 1 plus 2 would give me the 3. Since we filled in the 4 here, let's see what that would be. If I added 2 again, with that missing 4, that would give me a 5. And then you can see we keep going from there, from 5 to 7 increased by 2, and 7 to 9 increased by 2. So each time my C column goes up by 1, my T column goes up by 2. Or another way to say that, and I'm going to say T is equal to, well, T is moving twice as fast as the C column, right? Moving by, it's going up by 2 instead of by 1. So twice as fast as C, we would say 2C. Okay, so already it's got to be one of the answer choices on the right. And then I want to see which one of these describes my pattern, plus 3 with that or minus 3. Well, let's try plugging one of these numbers in. Remember when you have a table, if you plug the number in the C value in for C, you should get the answer in the T column after you sub it in. So if I said 2 times C, 2 times 2 gives me 4. Well, what would I have to do to get that 4 down to 1. Would I add 3 or subtract 3? Well, adding 3 is not going to work. That's going to make it even bigger. Let's try subtracting 3. Okay, well, if I said 2 times 2, that gives me 4. 4 minus 3 gives me 1. Okay, let's try it with one more number just to make sure the pattern is holding. If I sub 3 in for C, 2 times 3 gives me 6, minus the 3 gives me 3. So this pattern, T is equal to 2C minus 3, works for all the numbers in my table. Or you can say that this function describes the table. This table shows how the number of spider webs t depends on the number of spiders c. How would you write this as an equation? Okay, well let's take a look at our data. It looks like 5, 6, 7, they're going up by 1. So I might even fill in my missing 4 here, right? If we go 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, let's pretend we have one more row. They're going up by 1 each time, right? 3 to 4, they're going up by 1. 4 to 5, up by 1. 5 to 6. Okay? So here, if we filled in the number in between, we would want to do the same thing here. So let's go back to that in a second. We can see from 6 to 8, we're going up by 2. From 8 to 10, we're going up by 2. So we would expect them to be going up by 2 each time. So if I fill in the missing number, that would go with 4. Well, 2 more than 2 would be 4. And then you can see that pattern would work for the whole thing, right? From 2 to 4, we go up by 2. From 4 to 6, we go up by 2. So notice my C column is going up by 1, and my T column is going up by 2. So another way to say that is T is increasing twice as fast as C or t is equal to 2c. Okay, and then I also have to look and see, is there a number I would add or subtract to make this work? Because it can't just be t equals 2c, because if I put 3 in, well, that would give me 6, not 2. Okay, well, do I think I'm going to add or subtract something? Well, if 2 times 3 gave me 6, I must be subtracting something to get down to 2. How much would I have to subtract? 4. Right? And now you can try plugging numbers in to make sure. Let's say I substitute 3 in place of C. Well, 2 times 3 would give me 6, minus 4 would give me 2. Okay, let's try it with the 5. If I substitute 5 in for C, 2 times 5 would give me 10, minus 4 would give me the 6. So this pattern describes what's going on in our table. The table below shows you the relation between the number of beds T in relation to the number of cabins C. 
How would you write this as an equation? Okay, well, let's take a look. The cabins or the C column is increasing by one, right? From one to two, from two to three, and from three to four. If I look at what's going on in the number of beds or the T column, it looks like they're going up by three, right? One plus three would give me four. Four plus three would give me seven. And seven plus 10, or seven plus three would give me 10. Okay, so another way to say this is that the T column is going up three times as quickly as the, as the C column, where T is equal to three C, and then we still have to see what number we might add or subtract to make the whole pattern work. Well, so far I can eliminate these two that have two C. I know it's gonna have T equals three C in it. Okay, well let's, if I was to put a number in, let's put one in here. Three times one would give me three. Do I want to add or subtract from three to get to one? Well, I would have to go down, so I would have to subtract two, not add two. Okay, and if, again, if I plug this in, three times one is three, minus two would give me one. Let's try it with another number. If I substitute two in, three times two would give me six, minus the two would give me four. So this pattern works, t equals three c minus two.